and my pick of the week is called Just Eat and Eat by Rehan Panchi256. Uh, is a pretty cool game. It's very difficult. A couple things I'll point out before I start it. So this is in the simulator. When I hit start, it'll, uh, it'll begin from the top. And we have a cool little animation. Watch the character here. So he's hungry. He's patting his tummy. He wants to eat something. Uh, he looks over at that burger with one eye, too. He says, eat the burger. Uh, I'm going to press the A key or the Z on my keyboard here. Uh, and I'll use the arrow keys to move around. It says, press the A button to dash. Uh, now, I've turned off the timer on this because it's very difficult and would go by in a flash before I got to show you much. So I've turned off the timer in code. Um, but essentially, the way the game works is you can move around and look for stuff to eat. When you press that... Uh, dash button and you're moving, character moves really fast. So you can see here, uh, this is the speed at which the game is meant to be played so that you don't die before the time runs out. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. So you can just cruise around slowly, but you'll never make it. So you, you're going to have to hold that button down and dash real crazy fast. Um, so let's take a look at how this was done. I'll hide the simulator. Um, the dash function is what I want to look at. And the way that uh, this was coded is in the, there's a game update uh, check every millisecond. And then whatever code is inside this block is going to run. Uh, if the game has started, then here's, here's our uh, speed up. We're moving the character, which is the name of this sprite. They call it character. Move char with the buttons. And it's using a uh, preset variable for speed x and speed y. If you press the button, that speed X is set to 700. And I believe uh, down below it also does the same for Y and sets that uh, to 700 as well. Um, so that is what's overriding the, the uh, default. If the button is lifted, then the velocity uh, drops back down to normal. And so that's how we get this really cool uh, speed up. And you'll also notice there's an effect trail uh, being set here, as well as, uh, let me see if I can get the game started again, there are uh, destruction effects happening to some of the uh, landscape. So when I'm walking around, you'll notice that I'm walking around just fine. When I hit Z and move, I blow away all of those tiles, uh, which is pretty cool. So there's actually a, uh, more than may meet the eye here at first. Uh, after a while, too, you'll get poison uh, that shows up that you can't eat, these little sort of beakers. Oh, I just think a poison showed up. Oh, so there's a poison, and I don't want to eat that. Oh, I just did, so I lost, lost a life. Let's eat the last one and see if we die. Oh, game over. Uh, so that is my uh, arcade game pick of the week. It's called Just Eat and Eat, uh, and I recommend you go check that out uh, in the forum.microsoft.com in the arcade category. You can see new games as they come up. Uh, so that's my pick of the week.